So in this series, actually, on the letters of CPE Bach, you know, I'm reading his letters. I'll put some links in the description box and in this video that let you guide you through some other videos we made on the letters of CPE Bach. There is a really funny one, not a funny letter in itself, but CPE Bach, Emmanuel Bach, ends this letter with a very nice, funny, actually, musical fragment that I'm going to play for you. And this letter is sent in April 1784, sorry, he was 70 years old. Sent to Johann Heinrich Grave, and I don't know if this Mr. Grave is has his own. Yes, here it is in the name list. He was a lawyer in Greifswald. He lived until at last, at least 1810. He subscribed to multiple copies of Bach's printed works after 1780 and collected many manuscripts as well. So this Mr. Grave gets a letter from Karl Philipp Emanuel Bach. And Bach ends in a postscriptum. Recently, someone wrote to me that it was remarkable that not only my surname, but also the initial letters of my first name, Alitaliano, C-F-E, were musical. And I answered as follows. And then is it this very harmonically progressive little piece. And I will play it for you. So the book is kept from moving by music by his father and music by Beethoven. So we have some impressive literature on the clavichord now. So it has a theme of Emmanuel Bach's name. So C, F, E, and then B, B flat. So B, H, C, H, like it is in German. So the B, like we said today, is H in German. So you have C, F, E, Karl, Philip with the F, Emmanuel, and then B, A, C, H. And listen what he makes out of that. It's, I have to change things in the bass because it's not really for keyboards. It's, it's a just an abstract, abstract full voice full voice setting. So listen. So isn't that wonderful? Harmonic progressions anno 1784, showing what a great composer he was, just to give this little thing of beauty in the postscript of his letter, and also showing that he must have been a really wonderful man to pay a visit to. That's something we cannot do anymore, but we can read his letters and by reading his letters he's very close to us still today so i hope you enjoyed this little intermezzo by karl of the thanks for watching see you next time bye